Hello and thanks for watching this video on e-commerce integration into Acumatica. In this video we're going to go over BigCommerce and how easy it is to maintain an e-commerce site right from Acumatica. So you can see here I have a screen that shows all of my synchronization status because in Acumatica it's a turnkey solution that allows you to push orders back and forth, bi-directional, inventory items, customers, payments, locations, and much, much more back and forth as an extension of Acumatica. So let's say, for example, we wanted to add a new category and a new inventory item on our website. So here's our BigCommerce site, and you can see I have a number of categories up here at the top. Some categories are multi-level. There's some items on my featured section, new products. But maybe I want to add hardware as a brand new category and maybe put a screw gun inside that category. So to do that, we'll go back to Acumatica. We'll go into our inventory section. We'll open up our item sales categories and we'll add a brand new category. Our parent category is going to be right at the top level and we'll save it. Now let's go in and create a new inventory item. We'll select an item class. We'll give it a price. Under attributes, we can define different attributes these attributes could get synced over to our e-commerce site if we map them. We'll include the sales category for this item. We'll drag and drop an image on top of our image area. Under our e-commerce tab, we have an e-commerce tab for the commerce edition of Acumatica. We want to make this item visible, but we can also make it featured or hide it altogether. Our availability is going to be the store default. So in Acumatica, for every e-commerce store you define, you have a series of preferences. This availability can pull right from that particular store preference. So you have different options as to whether or not you want to show how many you have in hand or just the availability status. And then what do you want to do when the quantity becomes unavailable? Some merchants like to hide the item and drive customers to ordering items that they have in stock instead of items that aren't in stock. So you could set this item as disabled. You could set it as a pre-order. Again, you could roll up and use the store preferences, or you could leave it alone. And these are a number of different settings that come from BigCommerce. So the custom URL, page title, all of these you can map right in the meta keywords for your SEO searches and description, as well as URLs for the image. So earlier we drag and dropped an image, but instead we can use an image URL, paste it here, and Acumatica will export it over to BigCommerce so that the image will come over. Or you could use videos. So now that I created my items, Acumatica has multiple different options for how frequently you want to push information out to the BigCommerce site. If we take a look at our BigCommerce store preference, you can see we have the one store name. If we go to entity settings, this gives you a screenshot of all the different directions you can import or export or bi-directional information back and forth between BigCommerce and Acumatica. It also gives you the ability, where supported, to sync immediately. So when we go and take a look at our e-commerce site to see what's updated, we'll do that right now, and we refresh our page. You now see hardware. We click on hardware. You now see the item we created in Acumatica came over to our big commerce site. Now moving ahead, and I add this item to the cart. Again, notice the price, 275. I had something in my cart already. I'm going to remove that. I'll check out with this 275 item. You'll notice my shipping address comes across. So this shipping address came over when I created my account. 
So it automatically got synced. And any other shipping addresses I might have would also show up here from Acumatica. Customers and customer locations or shipping addresses are synced bi-directionally. So you could see that here. If I enter a new address, that would get pushed back to Acumatica or vice versa. If the customer called me and added a new shipping address, that would be available too. I can see all the different delivery methods I've set up in Big Commerce. This is not an area that syncs. However, in Acumatica, if we go back, this free shipping method is an option. If I go back to Acumatica and I go back to our store settings, under our order settings, we have the ability to see all of the different delivery methods set up in Big Commerce and map them accordingly to the appropriate delivery method or the ship via set up in Acumatica. So you can map all of these directly into Acumatica so that when the order is created, it'll automatically select the correct ship via so that you can fulfill it. So if we go back to our shopping cart, we'll hit continue here. We can add some comments if we need to. You can choose credit card or in this case, I've enabled check and place the order. So you can see here, I placed my order, order number 109. I have my item here. The taxes would be calculated. The delivery would be calculated, although this is a free ship. Big Commerce will send me out a notification as a shopper. But if I go back to sales orders, you'll see the new order I just placed for $275. I'll open up the order. Notice the external reference. That's the order number from Big Commerce. You could see the item here with the quantity and the unit price. Now I've removed the warning by adding some stock to this item so that we can complete the ship. So if I go to actions and I create the shipment, we take a look at our shipping settings. We're using UPS ground. And if we take a look at our packages, there's no auto packaging here, so we'll choose the box. Normally you'd scan the box and weigh it. The weight would come in automatically to Acumatica. And when everything's correct, we confirm our shipment. So now what we got was a tracking number, UPS ground. We got our tracking label here. Take a look at it if we need to. But if we go back to our BigCommerce site, and we go to our account page. We can now see our order is shipped. And if we drill down as a shopper, we could see the information here, the order to ship, the order total, our payment method. We can see our tracking number here, which you could set up for tracking links. All of this is made possible and extremely seamless with the Acumatica Commerce Connector having information show up the way we want it to. So inventory showing available items or not showing items, making sure that consumers don't shop for items that maybe aren't available or they understand the status and know there will be delays, allowing these customers to see their sales price specific to those customers. So Acumatica supports sales prices specific for customers or groups of customers, promotional pricing, quantity breaks. All of these will show up in Big Commerce once synced. You can manage it all through Acumatica. And then your ability to get these orders seamlessly imported into Acumatica through a real-time sync. Shipment information, once the shipment's been confirmed, we can find the tracking information. That gets updated into Big Commerce. All of this allowing for quality sales to your shoppers and real-time information and the ability to get these items out the door to your shoppers quickly so that they keep coming back. So that's the Big Commerce integration, seamless with Acumatica. If you have any questions about this integration or any other questions about Acumatica and Big Commerce, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much and have a great day.